Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about what is the acid in lactic acidosis. And I'm going to go over this poster. It's the Metabolic Pathways poster. I have one other video on this. And um, now as I go through this poster, um, I'll be looking at the screen like this and not so much looking at you because as I look at the screen, I'll be using my finger to point and I want to make sure that I'm pointing at the right thing. Like that, so get used to this. Sorry. Not so much like looking at you directly. Okay, so now here's what this poster looks like. The, the point here is that we have this pink, which is sugar burning. And then we have yellow, which is in the mitochondria. This is fat burning. And then this is the production of energy right here. The pink is ancient. This is before oxygen was on planet Earth. There's no oxygen used here. And there is a waste product, and that is... Actually, there's, there's four waste products. Lactate, acetaldehyde, acetate, and ethanol. And so those cause harm, but they're not acids. And back in the 1930s, the doctors knew that there were waste products that acted like acids, but they didn't know what, what they were. So, But what, what acts like acid is actually the release of hydrogen ions from this process, whereas there are no um, hydrogen ions released from this process. It is hydrogen neutral. Hydrogens are being used, but they're actually being recycled down in here. Okay, now this is the more modern use of uh, nutrients to make energy. Um, it uses oxygen. So this, this was developed later in evolution, whereas this is before there was oxygen on the planet. Here is when oxygen was put on the planet or created or whatever. And then our bodies, or um, bacteria, actually started using oxygen, using this mechanism. Okay, so the translocation of protons, that's key here. And down here, this is just really interesting information. Once you have acetyl-CoA, whether you make it from sugar and all the waste products that come from it, or you make it from fat with no waste products, the acetyl-CoA goes into what's called the citric acid cycle, um, also known as the Krebs cycle. And the purpose of that is to push hydrogen from within the mitochondria into the membrane. Now, if you look at a mitochondrion under a microscope, there's all kinds of little folds and stuff. Those membranes are the, the, it's the storage of electricity. It's like a battery. So mitochondria are little batteries, and they, and they move nutrients around, and those nutrients then make ATP, which is the energy f source of... Of, of the cells, it's like gas for your car, the ATP is. And then we hit, so here, and here we have what's called the electron transport chain. So moving electrons and hydrogens around. And then down here we have a buildup of hydrogens, sorry, down here, and those hydrogens get pushed by force into this thing called the ATP synthase where ATP is made. The whole point, all of this is, uh, all of this is, hydrogen neutral, but up here we have a, a gain of hydrogens. That's the acid. Lactic acidosis is lactate plus the other um, waste products that are dangerous, plus acid. So you want to get into ketosis sometimes. That's this point, right? This, this, that's this. And you want to ignore that. When you're in ketosis, you're ignoring this. And so like when you're exercising and you're sprinting a lot, the initial lactate waste product here makes your muscles weak and tired and you stop exercising. But if you're sore for two or three days, that's the buildup of hydrogen embedded in your uh, muscles because that's where they were released and they're just hanging out in your muscles. So the way you get rid of that hydrogen is, to br is oxygen. And the oxygen combines with it and then you get water and, um, and you can get carbon dioxide too. But... Um, that's why it takes two or three days to get rid of that soreness to get all that hydrogen out of your muscles. So, um, so anyways, you don't want to be burning sugar too much for too long. Like 70 years of burning sugar, you end up with cancer and heart disease from the buildup of acid. You know, people who are older and they're, and they're sore everywhere, they just have, they're, they've been doing this their whole life. So get into ketosis so you, you end up doing this and you end up... Um, favoring fat burning over sugar burning, whether you're overweight or not, you still want to be 
doing fat burning, at least occasionally, but for a lot of people frequently, so that you're doing, you're creating energy very efficiently with no waste products. All right, so I hope this helps, and I thought it was pretty cool. I learned it this weekend, and I wanted to share it with you. Give me a thumbs up if you thought it was cool too.